dear students welcome to epg partshala and e content program of national mission on education under ict i am professor seva singh former head department of library and information science guru nanak dev university amritsar today i will discuss with you about module university library system this module is under the paper on academic library system a university is regarded as a community of teachers and students engaged in extending boundaries of knowledge a university is set up to build up an abiding passion for the pursuit of truth goodness social justice etc is a dwelling place of ideas and idealism a modern university functions according to the changing pattern of education if we look at the objectives of the university these are to seek and cultivate new knowledge to engage in pursuit of truth and interpret old knowledge in the light of new needs to provide right leadership in all walks of life to develop potential in youth by cultivating right interest attitudes and moral and intellectual values to provide society with competent men and women trained in agriculture arts medicine science and technology to strive to promote quality social justice and to reduce social and cultural differences to foster in the society through teachers and students the attitudes and values needed for developing a good life so there is all the need to establish a library in the university and the objectives of university library are to develop collections of documents both print and electronic to support teaching and research activities to develop policies procedures and standards for acquisition of documents supporting teaching and research programs to provide services that would meet the information needs of faculty and students to conserve knowledge and ideas for posterity and on looking at the functions of university these have undergone change from time to time to meet the needs of society but uh, the basic functions of university are conservation of knowledge and ideas teaching research activity publication activity extension services and interpretation and functions of university library are in consonance with the objectives and functions of its parent organization in order to achieve the objectives and functions of university education university library should redesign its activities some of its functions suggested by various committees and commissions set up from time to time are to provide resources necessary for research in the field of special interest to university to aid the university teachers in keeping abreast of developments in their fields to provide library facilities and services for success in instruction programs to open the doors to the wide world of books beyond the fields of specialization to bring books 
students and scholars together encouraging reading the encouraging reading for pleasure self discovery personal growth sharpening of intellectual curiosity etc so the purpose and uh, function of uh, university library is expansion of knowledge for truth and so on in other words it serves the adult scholarship and to serve the adult scholarship in the form of faculty and students and other stakeholders information resources have to be acquired and organized in the library to support and supplement the teaching and research programs ongoing research and so on information resources in a university library include books learner journals reports monographs theses seminar and conference proceedings transactions of societies standards and specifications patents government publications etc a university library also needs bibliographic tools such as uh, subject and national bibliographies lists of books in print union lists of periodicals abstracts indexes etc it also needs reference sources such as dictionaries encyclopedias yearbooks <coughs> statistical sources geographical sources biographical sources etc university library also acquires sources in electronic format like cd roms databases e journals e books data files etc all these uh, library collection acquired from time to time must be maintained and preserved for posterity by doing the following activities stock verification of the collection stock rectification of the collection reading of old and worn out documents preservation with the help of various methods binding of those documents which are worn out and old for preserving serials theses manuscripts rare books reports newspapers etc digitization is needed some programs like uh, digital library of india national mission for manuscripts traditional knowledge digital library electronic thesis and digitations projects of india etc help in collection maintenance manpower resources is one of the most essential component of a university library performance of manpower plays vital role in the success or failure of university library competent and properly trained library staff can ensure effective and efficient library and information services they must have uh, matching qualifications experience and expertise of the faculty library staff must constantly interact with the students faculty research scholars etc to ensure credibility university library usually has the following categories of staff one professional staff two technical or para professional staff three administrative staff 
Let us now discuss the duties and functions of these three major categories of manpower in university library. In order to achieve uh, the objectives of university library, the professional staff would perform some such jobs as book selection and ordering, classification, cataloging, indexing and abstracting, reference and information services, literature searches, user studies, surveys, planning and management, and so on. Paraprofessional or technical staff are of supporting nature. They perform some such jobs as accessioning of books and other documents, registration of periodicals, typing of catalog cards and bibliography, charging and discharging of books, maintenance of issue records, interlibrary loan work, shelving of documents, preparation of books and periodicals for binding, stock taking and stock rectification, and so on. The third category of staff in university library is the administrative staff which performs the following jobs. Secretarial assistance to librarian, maintenance of personal records, maintenance of accounts, typing, housekeeping, etc. In order to manage the collections and staff, university library needs sufficient financial resources. These are the soul of the university library, important for effective functioning, organization, and management of library. Finance required for the purchase of documents, employing qualified manpower, purchase of furniture and equipments, maintenance of library buildings, etc. Some of the important sources of finance for university library include grants from the UGC, grants from central and state government, grants from university budget, endowments and gifts, library fee, fines and miscellaneous sources like uh, sale of publications, etc. In addition to manpower sources, financial sources, library also needs physical sources. These are required in order to provide various types of information services. Therefore, library building should have many unique features. Design of university library building should keep into view inner layout, utilization of inner space, and so on. Design must keep into view the implications of the fifth law of library science, whereby it is stated that library is a growing organism or growing agency. Building should be suitable for application of computers online public access catalogs, etc. University libraries also occasionally provide repackaged information services 
and for providing these services the provision of adequate space must be made all these and other developments require a modular library building which could afford optimum space for each activity some of the items of furniture and equipments are required in a university library and have to be accommodated in the building itself these include book racks catalog cabinets reading tables and chairs circulation counter or uh, any other counter display racks tables and chairs for technical staff office tables and chairs computer tables and chairs racks for display and storage of periodicals and magazines etc newspaper stands book trolleys etc some of the items of uh, equipments in addition to furniture items are also required in a university library these include computer systems printers etc telephones fax machine photocopying machine telex machine micro form readers cd rom readers multimedia equipments fumigation chamber fire extinguishers etc all the activities of the university library revolve around the concept of service to users because it is the end user whose needs are to be satiated through various services provided by the university library these services include circulation services and uh, interlibrary loan service user education and uh, information literacy reference services referral services current awareness service selective dissemination of information literature and information search indexing and extracting services maintenance of newspaper clippings reprographic services internet services access to e journals e books and so on university libraries are changing in the present environment of information age information society and knowledge society there has been a shift from stand alone entities to networks services of library moving from document based to information based by sharing their resources university libraries provide wider access to information resources to the users indian uh, academic libraries have formed some consortia for sharing resources these includes indest forsa ugc infonet inflibnet csir e consortia iim consortia and so on in a changing scenario of 21st century one who possesses information leads the path to success to keep up with the huge and large variety of information made available through internet in the form of databases multimedia etc libraries are required to create their own home page to describe academic activities inflipnet is 
providing support to university libraries to a considerable extent. Working group on libraries set up by the National Knowledge Commission recommended application of ICT in libraries. All these things have helped or all these things and other activities they have their impact upon the role of university librarian which is undergoing change. Computerization process has helped to improve the quality of library and information services benefiting the users. Faculty librarian faculty and librarian collaboration can deliver great dividends to library users as well as librarian. Library transforming into an electronic hub offering a variety of services to support research, teaching and learning. There has been a positive change in the attitude of librarians and library professionals toward the changing information needs of users. Libraries are transforming the university libraries into gateways of information and knowledge for future generations. So all these uh, changes which have occurred in recent times have had their impact upon the functioning, the working, the activities of university libraries and as a result it has been possible for the professionals to make changes in the existing library and information services. It has also made possible to initiate new services and products for the benefit of the end users. So with this dear students we try to sum up this module whereby the objectives of university and university libraries are discussed in support of university education. With the application of IT the functions of university libraries are changing to keep pace with the changing information environment. The module describes information services as backbone of university libraries. Maintains the need for building adequate information resources, physical resources, etc. Highlights the need for sources of finance and sufficient manpower. States that to achieve their objective, university libraries are participating in various networks and consortia. With such a scenario on the Indian as well as international canvas, it is hoped that in the times to come, university libraries will further improve their services and initiate new services also so that the basic functions and objectives of parent institutions, the mission and vision of university as such are fulfilled. Thank you very much dear students.